And we're gonna talk about the fact that for my whole entire life, I was fat. <laughs> I'm gonna take my heart and I'm gonna open it up, okay? I'm gonna open up my vagina flower. We gonna have a kiki right now. We gonna kiki. Do you love me? Do you saw me? Do you never have a end with a kiki? So if you're not into watching somebody talk, don't watch me or Trisha Paytas. Go watch ASMR whispering or something. Go watch monkey videos. Those are always a blast. So we're gonna talk about some of the things that I've been through because at my biggest, I weighed 250 pounds. I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm not a psychologist, but I, I, I do fancy myself a bit of a veterinarian because I do know how to express an anal gland in a dog. Call me. I was never the type of girl that used to say to my friends, oh my God, I look so fat. I, like, I don't want that attention. Hi, this is my YouTube channel where I have videos all about me. It was just I never wanted to crave that No, you're not fat. I always just wanted to stay away from that because I knew what I looked like Okay, I looked in the mirror every day and I want to tell you one thing every single day You wake up with the same face and the same body. Don't be hard on yourself Don't let other people rain on your beautiful gay parade. I love a parade I was thinking about how people used to react to me. What I would get a lot from my weight was, you hold it so well. Or your face, <gasps> your face is so beautiful. Your face though, it's your face. Like not my calf muscles, not my hips, not the fact that my toes are like perfectly in line. My second toe is not longer than my first toe. I am proud of that. Genetics. And listen, they don't cancel each other out, okay? You can be fat and beautiful at the same time. I know it's a weird concept, but it's real. It's so real, you guys. Okay? It's real. And when it came to like public social situations with my friends, uh, <laughs> I would grab my mom's saran wrap and I would wrap it around my belly as tight as I could and then put my shirt over it so that I felt like I had a flat stomach. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. It's actually very sad that I used to do that. I always had a belly. And when you lose weight after you've been overweight forever, your skin doesn't just go... <laughs> Go back to like the little like uptight and right like sausage casing that it was. So do I have loose skin? Yes, I do. <sighs> Is this helping at all? I also went to a Christian rock concert one night. When you're overweight, you can't find anything to wear. So if you have that one black t-shirt or that one like dress or that one shirt that just does it right and you feel so good in it, you sometimes wear it a little bit too much. And I had that one black shirt and it was actually a pine green bubble vest that I wore over it. It. And I wore it to a Christian rock show. And then we went again the next night and I wore the same outfit. And because I was dancing the night before and perspirating and I was young, one of the girls said that I smelled. It wasn't like, yo girl, get some deodorant under your armpit because you smell. No, it was in a mean way. I hated when I used to go and try and bathing suits in the dressing room and like I'd go with like a friend or something and they'd always be outside the dressing room like, oh my god, come out, I'm sure you look great, let me see. And I'm in there like, do I have enough time to create a time machine to get myself out of here? E equals MC squared times the ratio of the speed of light. Can I do this? For I could do this. Give me a hanger! Or when you're like an adult and somebody's like, don't worry, it's it's just baby fat. It will go away. And you're looking at your watch like, well, I'm 40, so. This is one of the most embarrassing things, but like, I put my underwear on 30 years ago and I still have the same dent in my skin. It's like a tattoo. It's like a permanent dent in your skin saying, you're fat and I'm always going to remind you of that, you little bitch. When I was at a party, I was kind of just standing there drinking out of my really cool solo cup of my Piazza Blue Ribbon and the hottest guy there started walking across the room, okay? All of a sudden, the clouds open. God began to call my name. It's your time, grasshopper. Olivia Newton-John started to sing. He approaches me, looks deeply into my eyes with his beautiful crystallized blue eyes, and he goes, can you introduce me to your friend? <laughs> I know. No, no, that was supposed to be my moment. My moment. You were supposed to come up to me. We were gonna have a Cinderella moment on the dance floor, and then we we're gonna dry hump to Biggie Small's greatest hits. 
And also, I was a singer. Well, I guess I am a singer, but I'm not pursuing it as hard as I used to. And I tried out for American Idol about 17 times. We had a main idol here in Maine, and what would happen is you'd try out, and if you won, you'd get to be further in line at American Idol to try out for the judges. So I tried out every year, and you uh, you guys you guys would know what my song was. It was this. <clears throat> you told me to leave you alone, my father says, come on home. Change, change, change. And I would try out with that song every year, and I would make it to like the top ten, and I would look right and left and see skinny, 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 beautiful, 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 hot guy with a banjo. And I was never chosen, so one year, I went up to the judges, and I said, Mr. Judge, judge me right now. What is it that I am not delivering to you? What is it that I am not giving you in your face that makes your vagina tingle? And he said, you just don't have the right look. It confirmed it, boobies. I just didn't have the right look. In closing, I want you guys to know, if people are being mean to you, go grab a bat. No, I'm just joking. But if people are being mean to you, it's very hard to ignore those voices because those voices then become your voices. And then you torture yourself over and over and you find yourself in a psychological cage and you can't get out. Break through. You are worthy because worthy is the broken and yet you rise again and again and again and again because when they go low we get high. Yeah. I want you to know that I love you all deeply. I want you to know that I've been to the darkest depths of hell because of the way I felt about myself. Depression is no joke. Anxiety is no joke. It is a mental illness. When your brain hates you, you can do awful things to yourself. Please don't. I love you all the way that you are. Yoga by Adrian is what changed my life. That is where my transformation began. It's something that everybody can do. So shout out to Yoga with Adrian. I'll link her YouTube channel in the description box below if you'd like to try it. So that's my video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you love yourselves and you're kind to one another because this world and this life is too short. Subscribe, like, comment, and dislike if that's what your heart desires and boobies. I will see you on the next go around of this beautiful freaking life. Bye boobies!